name is Amy Ecker. Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to use all the goodies in this June BoxyCharm box to create this look. So if you want to see how I created this look using these BoxyCharm items, stay tuned. Okay, so these BoxyCharm items are fun, fun, fun. I am very excited about the package. And so let me tell you about some of the good things and a little bit of a challenging things in this box for me. So I went ahead and you'll see in a minute that I basically put all the makeup bits and baubles on that wasn't included in this box, but everything that was included in this box with the exception of the face mask, I went ahead and used. So you're gonna see that in a minute. And I'm gonna go ahead and give you kind of my thoughts on this box. So BoxyCharm, as you guys know, if you watch any of my previous BoxyCharm looks um, or reviews, I love BoxyCharm. This is like one of my favorite subscriptions ever. And it always has Again, some fun I stuff just, in it. I am absolutely thrilled with this box. So let's go into some of the things that are in here. So we have a facial mask. This is pomegranate and hyaluronic acid. Pound Beauty Secret. It moisturizes to help the skin appear smooth and firm. Paraben free, gluten free, no GMOs. It's by BioBell. And I am super pumped about this. It looks like there is a couple masks in here, which is fantastic. I love sheet masks. I love masks of all kinds. I usually exfoliate minimum once a week and I use masks a couple times during the week. I like to hydrate my skin. And so I am super, super pumped about any time I get a hold of a mask. In fact, before I got this BoxyCharm box, I had went out and purchased some additional masks because I do use these Next in the so box often. that I want to talk about is the Artist Couture. This is the Diamond Glow Powder in Illuminati. And Illuminati, it did. So this powder is absolutely stunning. Um, I just, I'm in love with it. So I do have a couple Artist Couture powders from just my own purchases. I, I saw them on originally with, <laughs> all right, Nikki Tutorials. And so Nikki Tutorials is the one that got me stuck on this brand as far as the powder goes. And you can see it's really nice and fine and shimmery kind of more of um, a pale color, but it does pick up. And I went ahead and just dabbed a tiny, tiny bit on my lipstick to give it a, just an extra little bump. And speaking Flare. of lipsticks, yes, we got another liquid lip from Ofra, and this one is called Santa Ana. So I'm born and raised in Southern California, and I loved our Santa Ana winds. Um, it would always cool off the day at the end of the day. So this one actually is kind of near and dear to my heart since it reminds me of my childhood. It applies absolutely amazing. Um, it doesn't kiss off or transfer, which y'all know from some of my other videos, that's real important to me. I love the fact when I can put on a liquid lip and be done for the rest of the day. I don't like touching up my makeup throughout the day. I just want it to sit there and do what it needs to do and last me through a business day. Is that too much to ask for? But super pumped about the Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick. So that, I mean, all these little gifts in here from BoxyCharm are Now we're gonna talk book. about and I've got the Artist Couture powder everywhere. Um, it's, it's sparkly. It's a bunch of sparkly goodness. We're going to talk about the Real Her number one shadow palette, Be Your Own Kind of Beauty. I always enjoy that BoxyCharm gives us um, different eyeshadows or eyeshadow palettes throughout the subscription, so that's absolutely fun to me. And I've got powder everywhere. So these are wonderful as far as kind of neutral based. I do like the colors. What I didn't exactly like is that most of them kind of have shimmers to it. So I was kind of sad that there wasn't more mattes because I would have probably gravitated towards doing a brown gold kind of or copper eye but there was really no matte to go with the brown or copper so 
unless I went with a real smoky eye and I don't know I don't know I just feel like there wasn't a good matte for these browns maybe I'm just not creative enough and that's probably the problem so for today's eye look I used a bit of the fine up underneath my eyebrow I used strong all over the eye I tried to pick up a little bit of the creative and kind of do that about a third of the way in and then top it off with some black to smoke it out and these two are the only two true mattes in the palette and again i'm not sure that this really looks good with this tell me um for any of you guys that have gotten the june boxy charm are you guys having the same issue i am with not enough mattes in this palette or is it just my lack of creativity you're not going to hurt my feelings. Um, I only have two, maybe at the most. So please put your comments below. I'd really like to hear some of the other people that have BoxyCharm subscriptions out there. What is it that you've done with this eye palette? Because I'm struggling. I'm struggling. Just not a lot of mattes. Or you just have to have another palette with you if you're traveling to pick up some more mattes. And these would be stunning, which is maybe what I need to try next. So I did like how they blended though. So that the quality is really good. Um, I had no trouble blending and mixing and they just went on good. Had a lot of pigment, so not over the top, but a decent amount of pigment to make it easy. There was a lot of fallout. So I did get fallout kind of a little bit here and there. So just be aware that if you're using this palette, it does have a little bit more fallout than um, some other palettes, but the pigmentation is good, not off the hook, but the blendability is great. So I do overall love the product. I just wish there would have been more mattes. Okay, I'm gonna stop on that. So anyways, if you want to see how I created this eye look, go ahead and stay tuned, get ready to see almost a blank canvas. Here we go. Okay, so I've got the Natasha Denona foundation. I've got Catrice as my under eye, my Cody Airspun as powder. I've got some MAC. And what color is that for MAC? I've got some MAC Warm Soul on the cheeks. And for my lip pencil, I'm using Essence Lip Liner and Soft Berry. So that kind of gives the base of what this boxy charm look is going to bounce off of. So now we're going to try the Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick. And this color is, we don't know, we don't know what color. So we do know the color. <laughs> the color is called Santa Ana. So we're going to apply that onto the lips. just glides on which I absolutely love oh and I forgot to say my um, bronzer is from pure cosmetics then we are going to try the artist couture this one is in Illuminati and I have two already from artist couture so I'm really excited that this color is one that I don't already have so that's always a plus so it has this nice little cap that turns and so you can bounce out the product and then you can turn it so as you travel the product doesn't come out. So I do like that because on the Cody Airspun it doesn't do that. So you get a bunch of product up at the top and I hit it way too many times so it actually comes out pretty good from those little holes. So I'm going to have to fix that later. And I'm going to use the Luxie 640 Pro Preci Precision Taper Brush and we're going to apply. And as you can see from the Artist Couture, the, this highlighter highlights. We're going to add a little bit to the lips, but this highlighter is very, very pretty. And it is in your face. Bling! Oh, 
is so pretty. I love it. All right. Now we are going to get into the Real Her Shadow Palette. Be your own kind of beauty. And let's see how this works. I'm going to start out with the color here called Fine. So we have Fine, Fabulous, Fun, Strong, Proud, Courageous, Smart, Creative, and Unique. So let's see. That goes on very nice. All right, next we're going to get into the color Strong. That's got some pigment. It's got some pigment, but it blends really easy and nice. So at first I was like, oh my God, what'd I just do? But luckily it's blending quite nicely. The thing that's hard for me with this is it only really has these two as far as non-shimmers and so that doesn't give me a whole lot of play because the rest of these are shimmers. So I'm having a hard time with this palette because it has more shimmers than mattes. Alright, we're going to go ahead and I guess we'll use a little bit of shimmer. We'll use Creative next. Thank you so much for watching my channel today. I hope you enjoyed this boxy charm look and review. If you did like this, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing or refer me to a friend. And as always, you have a choice, so make it a beautiful day. Until next time.